Hey everybody, and this video once again brings us out to Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, which is where we were yesterday. But the reason why we're in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania today is not to look at a, um, a swimming pool getting torn apart. Found out some more information about that actually. Apparently they closed in like 2012. They closed a little while ago. Actually, that, uh, that swimming pool has been closed for a long time. Still have no idea what they're actually building there. Just drove past it actually a few minutes ago and they are still tearing it down. It is still in in tear down condition. So we'll see what's happening there. But anyway, I am starving. I actually just got done doing some thrifting, some all day long thrifting. As you can see, it's getting kind of dark. The sun is, is setting down behind the Burger King there. It's getting dark out now. But anyway, I wanted to film this video before it does actually get dark. So I spent all day long thrifting with my buddy John, and my buddy Chris. We actually went out to the Morgantown, Pennsylvania area. We're, at, we're in Morgantown, Pennsylvania, Blue Ball, Pennsylvania. And um, new, was it new, not New Holland, New Holland? New Holland, Pennsylvania, new, new something, Pennsylvania. We went out to that area. We did a whole bunch of thrifting out there and it's now five o'clock in the afternoon and I have actually not yet eaten. I am starving right now. So that's why I'm here at the Burger King. I need to get myself some dinner. I need to get myself some lunch. I need some food inside my belly as soon as possible. However, there's something I've always wanted to take a look at that actually I've seen because of parking in this Burger King before. So I figured today, let's go take a look at this and see what exactly this is. I'm tripping over sticks and also stabbing them into my leg, which is not fun. I wanted to take a look at this little building right here. What do you guys think this is or was? Do you think it's a house? This is actually pretty tiny to be a house and it has this weird little like thing up there. I don't even know what that is. I thought actually maybe when looking at it from a distance that it was like some kind of like bell or something. There's no bell in there. So I don't know if this was an old schoolhouse. I have no idea. We actually kind of see, I'm terrified to look in there right now. I just had, like I've seen way too many horror movies and I feel that looking inside there is gonna lead to me being drugged inside there and murdered and it won't be fun. But I'm thinking we should kind of maybe possibly look inside here. What do you think is actually inside this? What, what is in there? You ready? We're gonna, we're gonna look. There is nothing inside there. Ooh, except for an awful smell. There's a terrible smell coming from inside there. So maybe animals have gotten inside there. Maybe some people have gotten inside there and done something bad. Or maybe there's just dead bodies in there. That's what I'm smelling right now. I have no idea. But what do you think this used to be? Do you think it was just somebody's house? Somebody's very tiny little house? Or do you think this is actually maybe used as a schoolhouse? And another question, I'm seeing a window right there, but I'm also seeing a window there. Do you think this was a two-story structure? I mean, it's kind of tiny to be two stories. Where would, the, where would the stairs even be inside something this tiny? This is interesting. I have no idea what this house or structure or whatever this was, was actually used for at any point. I have no idea again if it was a house or a schoolhouse or what. I want your comments down below. I want to know what you think this at one point was used for. Somebody used to live here? Did they teach school in here? Why is it still here? Is it historical? Maybe it was an old schoolhouse and that's why it's still here. Maybe it's a historical schoolhouse. As you can see, it was done in brick and then at some point, stucco put over top of it. And the stucco is actually starting to come off now. So they had the whole thing like tarped off at one point as well. So I have no idea. If you guys know, like I said, leave a comment down below. Let me know. I'm tripping over who knows what. They've actually, at one point, put something on like a tarp over top of the roof to stop it from getting, from getting from water getting inside. So maybe they're actually trying to preserve, pre preserve this. And at, I'm also noticing right here, there's also like an old, looks like um, Christmas light strand right there. See, that leads me to believe that actually at one point, this may have been a house. This might have actually been somebody's house at one point. Oh yeah, there's more Christmas lights over here. Look at this, right where that tarp is they've used to kind of cover up a hole in the roof. There's more Christmas lights there. So I'm starting to think that maybe at one point, this was actually somebody's house. Somebody lived inside this very, very tiny little structure. I'm thinking, I have no, idea or maybe just at one point they actually decorated this maybe for Christmas perhaps this is owned by those people over there or owned by the township or owned by somebody and at some point 
they used to just decorate this for Christmas. It is kind of down this random road. Like this isn't exactly a road that is, I mean, as I say, there's two cars driving down this road. And it's not exactly a super busy road. That would be the next road down there. You wouldn't even see this road. So if they did decorate this, the question would be why? Why would they decorate this for Christmas if it wasn't somebody's house? But I'm starting to think that that's exactly what this was. This was somebody's house at one point. It looks like there was even like a like front porch on the house. You can see the, the roof of it right there. Probably a porch came out here at some point. There's a little roof, a little porch. And why is this big hole right here? What do you think that was used for? It's a very large hole right in front of the house. Oh my gosh, it's actually starting to get cold. The sun, I think it's officially set. The wind has picked up and it's starting to get rather chilly. So I should probably end this video because I'm starving. Like I said, it's like, it's five o'clock in the afternoon. I have not eaten yet today. I need to eat something before I completely pass out, before I die here and then somebody drag, like the killer drags me inside there and uses my body for who knows what. I'm also seeing on this side, there's more Christmas lights over here as well. I'm kind of noticing all that. You see, look at this, there's Christmas lights, right? Right here. So I'm guessing this had to be somebody's house at one point. I don't even see like a driveway. Maybe they just drove up the, the dirt here. I mean, there's like, I don't know. There's all, there's all this. Maybe this is blacktop from an old, an old driveway. I have no earthly idea what this was at one point, but I've noticed it. Every couple of days, I get food over there at that Burger King. I frequent that Burger King quite often. And when I drive through the parking lot, I always notice this right here and I always think what is this what was this was this a house was it a school house what is that thing on top of it if any of you guys have any idea what that is leave a comment looks like a little bell like steeple right I don't know part of me thinks there was a bell inside there at one point but I could be completely wrong about that I have no idea again if you guys know leave a comment down below if you guys have any thoughts or ideas of what this could have possibly been or maybe you're from the area, maybe you remember somebody living here, maybe you had a family member or a friend or knew somebody who lived in this house. If you did, leave a comment down below. I wanna hear from you guys. Anyway, I'm getting winded because it's so incredibly cold out right now. Like all of a sudden, it wasn't bad when I started this video, but now the, the cold has just like all of a sudden crept upon me as I'm talking, like breathing in all this cold air. And it's just going straight directly into my lungs Look at this. What do you think, guys? What do you think this was? Look at this hole here. Something had to be there at some point. That is a very large hole in the ground. So giant hole, old building. Leave comments down below if you have any idea as to what this was. A house, a schoolhouse, something historical that they're preserving. Leave a comment down below. Clue me in. All right. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go get myself some Burger King. Go put some food into myself. And on top of that, I'm gonna get back in the car, back in Vanabelle, and get into the warmth, crank the heat, because it just got very, very cold out. It's amazing the difference the sun makes. As soon as the sun set, I could immediately feel the difference in temperature, and it got crazy, ridiculously cold out. And the wind that just came out of nowhere is not helping either. So, all right, guys, that is it for this video. Again, I'm gonna go get some Burger King. So like I said, leave comments down below. Let me know if you know what this building was. I should actually probably walk back over. There. Now that I walk back over here, I feel like I should actually walk back over there because I gotta take some photos. I'm gonna take some photos for Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, please do. Check out Retro Rest Stop on Instagram. I'm gonna post some photos of this place. Like I said, if you have any idea what this possibly was, leave a comment down below. I was thinking for the longest time, I was thinking old schoolhouse. That was my thoughts, but now that I look at it more, with the Christmas lights, I'm thinking maybe somebody's house. Maybe at one point, somebody used to live there inside this little house. Thus the Christmas lights. And over time, they moved out, fell into dis disrepair. And for some reason, they're somewhat trying to preserve it because there are, unless that tarp, maybe that, maybe that tarp that's on it was from the previous owners of the house. Maybe they let the house fall into disrepair and then eventually they moved out or they passed away or something like that. Again, who knows? It's the mystery house. The mystery house of Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. And if you know the answer to what the mystery house is or was, I wanna hear from you guys, because I have no idea. All right, 
I'm gonna go take some more pictures and then I'm gonna go get myself some Burger King because I'm hungry. So as always guys, thank you so much for checking this video out. Sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for links to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon to get help supporting the show, keeping the show going. So I really do appreciate it. Like I said, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. I'm gonna get some Burger King. I'm gonna take some pictures. Again, the mystery house of Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. I have no idea. Walking up next to it did not help me figure out what this is, but I'm leaning more towards old house. But again, what is that thing up there? I have no idea. All right, leave comments down below, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.